What's up guys, Matt Hospital, the prospect and geologist here. Um, come today, I'm going to do a video about basically LIDAR for GPAA claims and just kind of going through how, how helpful it can be and how to use it for your prospecting to help you determine your locations uh, before you ever even leave your house to go into the field to determine the main areas you want to focus on and hit to maximize your infield time. Um, and that's isn't that what it's all about pretty much is you want to maximize your infield time to be able to prospect and find the areas with the best gold. Um, and, and LIDAR and the LIDAR maps that I, I produce for those are top top notch for helping you do that. I have not found a better tool for that. Um, so we are going to today look at two of the GPAA claims in Arizona. Um, and I will say that Arizona does have sparse coverage for LIDAR, um, but there is some. And on my website, uh, theprospectinggeologist.com, I have pretty much any of the GPAA claims that have LIDAR available, you will find overlays for them on my website. And the good thing is, is that in the near future, within a year or so, the amount of coverage of Western states will probably double in the next year or so for LIDAR coverage. So I will be able to start putting more of these overlays out there uh, for you GPAA members and everything to really help you in the upcoming years pull more gold out of the ground. Um, that's what we always want pretty much. Uh, but let's delve into it here. Right now we're looking at a Google Earth view of one of the claims in Arizona. I can't remember if this was Polaris or uh, Golden Tattoo, Fantastic, Lucky Stripe, uh, hodgepodge of names. <laughs> um, but right now we're looking at it from the air and this is kind of what the GPAA site provides wise as you get where your entrance is to the claim and then the center of the claim. So one would surmise that it kind of box out an area like that. I don't know the exact boundaries. Once again, you need to know when you're in the field if you're on the correct claim or not. That is completely up to you guys. Um, but yeah, so if you're a new prospector looking at this or never been to this claim before, one of the hardest things to figure out is, okay, where do I figure out, where do I start prospecting this area? Um, and Google Earth is in and of itself is very helpful for that, even more so than what the GPA claim book is or anything. Um, but you can start seeing some of these washes and stuff, and it can give you an idea of, okay, it starts sampling up and down those. And it's always a good route to go. Um, but LiDAR can be a eye-opener on determining how to pick your spots in the field that you want to focus on. So right now, I mean, you zoom in, there's not, I mean, it's not a ton of coverage of uh, vegetation and stuff, but it's still, you kind of see this area, these look like these could be diggings. Uh, you could go check that in the field and stuff. <clears throat> but let's turn the LiDAR layer on and see what that brings to light. It takes a little bit to load sometimes, they are large files. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so there it is. There's our LiDAR. And now you can actually see it. Yeah, these are either prospecting pits or shafts running right in here. Um, just to, just to kind of help with delineating what you're seeing on LiDAR versus, like, in field. Because it, it does, with any new skill or learning a new map type, it takes some time to figure out what you're looking at with that map, just like topo maps, take a bit to figure out. Um, but if we kind of turn this on and off, you can see the road running right down through here, and then this little draw and stuff. You can turn it back on, you can start to see the road on the LiDAR. 
if it wants to load again. So you can see that same road running right down there, and here's that draw. You can toggle that on and off when it likes to load. You can start to see draw, road, draw. Um, you can just start to get a feel for what you're looking at with the LiDAR. Um, looking at it here, you can start to see these pits or shafts. They could be shafts too. Um, and there's even these little one, there's little tiny ones here that you want to check out. Like what are they? they? They're prospecting pits most likely, and then these larger ones are shafts. This little thing is an anomaly right here. It looks like that's potentially been dug. And then you come down into this valley, you can see there's some more pits. There's even probably a couple little pits on top of that hill. But what's this LiDAR really lets you do is start to determine trends of veins, since these are hard rock most likely. There's probably a vein trend that they were chasing running in this northwest northwest southeast fashion um, that they were chasing kind of we were to do this you can kind of see we got some workings here 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 and then coming kind of up through here so we kind of have this this potential vein trend we'll call it um, and and so you're doing all this at home, figuring out where you're going to go. And what it lets you do is then, okay, say, when I come to this claim, what are the primary areas I want to focus on to get a hot spot and start pulling out some good gold? One of them would be right here, downstream of this vein trend and some of these workings, because it should be some plaster deposits down there. These two little draws, definitely good potential. This this side over here at the beginning of this draw has some good potential and then on the downstream side of this here as well should have some placer deposit um, and those are for the guys seeking the actual placer gold now there should also be eluvial gold deposits that I know the metal detectorists would go after a good bit and those would kind of be shedding off this vein down rolling over these hills into this into this stream draw and that would be a great place to hunt this kind of hillside right in here for you alluvial gold and hunt it with a metal detector. Um, then as far as other stuff goes, you can start to see as you get an, your eye tuned for it, there's, there's some sort of anomaly here that looks like some prospect pit. And right here is something too. And as you just kind of zoom around and stuff, you can start to pick out these little anomalies that are probably diggings of some sort. Um, and there's a number of them all through here. Uh, and that can be very, very helpful. And then another interesting thing is, let's turn on, I don't know how many people use the mineral resource data system that shows you gold mines in the area. Um, but we definitely got this one here, and that's kind of showing that. But what it's not showing is all these other smaller areas of workings around it like okay that's the primary area but you got all these secondary and tertiary areas where they were prospecting and potentially finding good gold and was it part of this mine possibly was it possibly not part of that mine also possibly <laughs> um and, and doing this, I've actually found out east a number of uh, undocumented mining locations that were just simply not mapped and not talked about ever. And you show up on LiDAR and like, ha, look at that. I need to go there and check that out. Um, but that's kind of looking at this claim here. And even down near the entrance, there's some, uh, let's see, like three little, three little pits right there that are of interest um, something up in the hill there but just goes to show you that uh, LiDAR can really open up some stuff for your prospecting um, and let's jump we're gonna jump to another claim now and we'll turn that layer back off 
So this claim, it's a bit easier to see what's going on even in just satellite view with this claim because you can kind of see these workings even without it because there's, there's really not much vegetation in this area and some of these trenches seem to be quite large. Um, but if we pull up LiDAR, it really just goes to show it, it really shows them quite well then. Um, and this area, I mean, has a lot, a lot of digging are happening in this claim. Um, and there's definitely, if I lived in Arizona, this would be a claim I'd be checking out and doing a lot more research into just due to all these abundance of workings. Once again, you can see these pits and cuts kind of running in a linear fashion. The interesting thing is, is this linear fashion is going northeast, southwest, where the other claim, which isn't too far away, was going northwest, southeast. Um, so don't always assume that for your given area that the vein trends run the same direction. Um, but here again, you can see... Wrong button. You can see, and you can even start to map out once again, these vein trends. And this really helps to picture in your mind on where to focus on when you're in these given areas. So this actually looks like there's something right there. And then kind of connect the dots. Um, Into there, so you can see those trends kind of running along here. Um, and from that, you can say, okay, yep, I want to hit this area because water's running up that way. This would be a good area right there, downstream of this here, and then on these hill slopes and stuff, downslope from the vein trends. And the other interesting thing you can do with them too is then you can kind of, okay, there's no workings that I can observe over here. That doesn't mean that this vein trend did not continue and there isn't gold in here. It might have not just been enough for them to work at that time. So it can kind of do fringe hunting of these areas too a lot easier. By extending this line, you'd say, okay, I'm going to come here and pan or dry wash. And if there's gold showing up here, then there's a good chance that vein trend continues. And it can give you new ground to work that has not been worked. Um, and that's an incredibly powerful tool to be able to do that and delineate out. And this area is also a very great example of, so you have these central mining areas where you can tell they were working, but then off in the distance, there's all these workings that they, they could be associated with any of these mines, but to only view these, you could potentially miss so much of what's out there um, and not related to those these mines and it's just off in the distance and to to walk and cover some of these areas to explore could take you days or weeks even of time of just walking through the field so this gives you kind of areas to pinpoint and hit that are very, help you find gold a lot easier. Um, and that to me is a huge advantage. Like you can tell there's probably some placer workings right down in here. Um, and right in here as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, this area's just been, it's been dug pretty well, even back near down that way been dug very well and if, if I was in Arizona I'd be checking out both of these claims um, <clears throat> once again these these ones are available on my website uh, the prospectinggeologist.com I think 10 bucks a piece generally speaking some of the larger ones might be a little more um, but for the information given it's it's astounding really uh, the amount of information that this gives and I mean um, just trying to get the info out there to you guys so you can find more gold when you get to those claims and don't have to spend as much time walking around. You can pick your locations to check 
before ever even getting in the field. Um, and that's a huge advantage, especially right now in the middle of winter time. Then again, it being the middle of winter time, I guess, is Arizona is when you actually dig since it's cool enough now. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here east coast with snow on the ground. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just what I wanted to go over and talk about. Just look at all these trenches are there chasing veins, chasing veins. Probably have some shafts down on them and stuff. Um, but yeah, the LiDAR is just an incredibly powerful tool and in the coming years, I would expect the vast majority of the country to be completely covered with good LiDAR data. And I'll be able to get the website updated and I'll try and keep you GPAA guys updated on new ones that come out for specific areas and claims. Um, but yeah, it's just a valuable tool for any prospector. And it'll help new guys to experience guys. So um, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe and follow our content because I'll be discussing more LiDAR tips, tricks, and stuff and other prospecting techniques as well as adventures and everything else. Um, so yeah, you can check out my website at theprospectinggeologist.com and see if there's any LiDAR of claims that you frequent or wish to take a look at. Uh, as well as I also do custom... LiDAR maps for your own areas that are not part of a GPA claim and of course those only go to you and stay confidential. Um, but yeah, we will be back at some point in the future here. More good info. Talk to you later.